Deep drive to center field, and Vladdy Guerrero has put the Blue Jays on the board and tied it up with a monster home run. So, Chad, we're going to get back into our Blue Jays franchise. Um, if you remember in the last time we played, um, we had that big, like, 13-14 inning game um, that we ended up losing, I believe. I believe we ended up losing that game. Nope, we won. We won that one. Um, so yeah, we have a series coming up with Cincinnati. So hopefully we win that one since they are one of the worst teams. Uh, we still have Matt Chapman on the IL. Um, so yeah, we moved Gabriel Moreno into the starting lineup. So he should be an everyday player going forward. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Jose Barrios be out for a few days. What would we like to do? We'll keep him active for now. Kirk needs to triple the hit for the cycle. Wow, that's going to be tough. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. We'd like to welcome those just tuning in on the show for a live look in. You're right on time. Alejandro Kirk, a single, a double, and a home run already in this one. Looking for the toughest part of the cycle, the triple. I don't know. And there's two away. All right, well, no cycle, unfortunately. Hopefully, Ramon, Romano just came in and closed it down. George Springer hit another home run. That's nice to see. And yeah, Romano did get the save. You got a one run lead, protect it, close it out with Simber. Chris Singleton, you're just in time. The Blue Jays looking to wrap up a one run. Simber is ready. Ball one. Out. Tying run at the plate. Ground ball to the right side. All right, one out. Easy. Adam Simber getting it done, keeping the ball on the ground, just like the Jays like. Kato! Let's go. Filling in with Chappie. Filling in for Chappie with the glove. Next is the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson, for the fourth time tonight. Yes. Last half of inning number nine, Guerrero. All right, and Simber makes quick work of the Cardinals in the bottom of the ninth, picking up a save. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic... Another big outing from Alec Manoa. Teoscar with a home run. All right, Dodgers are interested in offering us a trade. Dodgers got lots of good players, so it'd be interesting to see who they're going to offer us. I have no idea who this is. Yorbit. Yorbit Vivas. He's got good potential. Do I, the question is, do I really want to give up Kirk for him, though, right now? Oh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna decline this trade for now. Not really what we're looking for. Springer has two home runs already today. Make it three. Wow, we are crushing Los Angeles. Let's go, chat. Of those just tuning in on the show for a live look in, you're right on top. George Springer, a couple of homers so far today. Maybe we'll see number three here. To do that consistently. You see the results. Swings and blasts. Did we do it, chat? No, dying at the wall. Come on, man. That was a pretty good hit. Hammered that one to center. I thought I was out of here, but Wynn just absolutely killed it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. He was in a location where he could get those arms extended. Springer, two home runs. Vladdy, a home run. Kevin, a home run. Lourdes, a home run. Luckily, Yusei Kikuchi didn't have to do too much. Bichette has an 11 game hitting streak. Keep it alive. All right, we can do that. We've been hitting lots of home runs lately. We're up to we're up to 13th now. We were 19th a couple games ago, so 
show for a live look all right Bo right on Bo's flow let's get it going here oh I don't know why I'm swinging at that hit hard on the ground is short fires over to Ward and Bichette is retired now at the plate Oh, yeah, another, we had another chance for Bo to get it. Hopefully Bo doesn't go 0 for 6. Get through there. Let's go. We keep the 11-game hitting streak alive and possibly get an RBI. Oh, my God. That had to be Alejandro Kirk with 8 speed. Woof. Florida's home run, Teoscar home run, George Springer triple. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Bichette got the 12-game hitting streak. We got to keep it alive. We have 420 strikeouts right now, chat. Good evening to those joining us for this live look in on the show. I'm John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. You're just in time. Bo Bichette. Right Bo Bichette not having a great year so far. That could end if he remains hitless right here. Underneath it, big time. Big time underneath it. Oh, we're going to get another chance. Tie game. Tie game. Bases loaded, chat. Bottom of nine. Underneath it again, but it's going to be enough to win the game, I think. Let's go. Well, we didn't keep the streak alive, but we won the game, which is all that really matters at the end of the day, chat. We got the dub. Right, that's, a, that's a good good month of May for us. Like we, must, we must have the draft soon. Yeah, I was going to say, we got the draft in like one day. All right, so we got a draft, draft day, chat. Pick 22nd overall. All right, so we're gonna who are we gonna take here, chat? So take DJ Rich, DJ Rich. Have a big K per nine, Mark Ramirez. He's got some good stuff already. Lance Moon, Tyler Wolf. They say we're they say we're thin at catcher, eh? What about this John Gonzalez guy? Let's take John Gonzalez then. Alright, Cy Jones I was actually kind of interested in, so I think we should take him. But we also have this guy, Gabe French. Gabe French looks kind of dirty. Slow though. Born in Canada. That's a, that's a positive for him. So let's take this guy's is going to be a good fielder, basically. That's what it looks like. Oh, Mark Corona. I do this, or you want to go Gabe French? I think we're, I think we're gonna go Gabe French here. We'll go with the Canadian. Oh, we have two compensation picks. Let's go. They really think we're thin at catcher, eh? Slow though. Ooh, really slow. Take Arlo Ward and we'll use our second compensatory pick. Switch hitting catcher? 
So we'll take a switch hitting catcher. We got another competitive balance pick. Let's go. Ooh, we're going to take this guy right here. This guy's a target too, yeah. They still think we're thin at catcher, eh? I guess we'll take this guy, 18-year-old Bill Cisnario. Pretty good vision at the plate. Pretty good contact from Kansas. Big, beefy catcher. Yeah, well, whatever. Jose Delgado. I like the sound of that one. He's old. He's old, though. Old, though. Old, 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 old. Take Ramon Beltran. All right, so we got to sign these people, chat. All right, so we got some all-star voting in. So let's go check our all-star voting, see what we got in. So Alec Manoa is the leading all-star vote-getter for pitchers. And Kevin Gossman is right behind him. So that just tells you guys how good that our pitching's doing this year. That's fantastic. We like that. Hunjin Ryu's also got some votes as well. But yeah, Manoa and pretty nice for Manoa being a second year player. Manoa Romano's probably gonna be pretty high. I was gonna say Romano's gotta be high up there. Romano still hasn't allowed a run yet in 16 innings. Zero ERA, 16, 16 innings pitch, 22 strikeouts, 18 saves or something. Oof, Vladdy, fourth in all-star votes. Not enough home runs. Yeah, Bo Bichette's been struggling. He's not going to be there. George Springer, right there. He's having a really good year. Oof. Not Miles Straw kind of year, though. Wow. 349 average. Wow. Yeah. Aralvis Martin. Ooh. We might need to we might need to move up Aralvis Martinez to triple A. Ryan Barucki pitched pretty well again. Alright, so I think chat that we should be moving. We should move Aralvis Martinez to triple A. And then we should move who's struggling the most. Oh, he's hurt, so that doesn't matter. But Leo Jimenez or Otto Lopez. And we should move Leo Jimenez to double A. Yeah, we gotta get Julian Merriweather out of there. Do we give Barecki another try? All right, so we're gonna send Merriweather down. We're gonna bring up Barecki. Let's go look at our pitching rotation quickly. Should still be fine. Brecky just gives us another lefty, which is nice. All right, so let's go to our draft picks now. So John, wow, John Gonzalez already got 81 contact. And his potential is 90. Wow, that's pretty good. 
Now he's a switch hitting catcher, so we like that. So that will offer him whatever he wants. Gabe French looks like he might be a stolen base maestro with some contact. Only 71 overall, though. Arlo Ward is young. Samuel Fabregas looks like he's going to be uh, a defensive maestro behind the plate with that arm, arm already at 55 at 18 years old and 79 overall, so that's pretty good. We'll offer him. Ricky Zavala already got some decent, uh, decent velocity. We'll offer him to Miguel Montero, 19. Pretty good hit already, 82 hit. We like that. Bill Cisneros, another might be another switch hitting catcher. I didn't realize we drafted two switch hitting catchers, but looks like he might be a little bit of a contact defensive maestro. So we'll take him. William Pinheiro, a little bit of a speed guy. We'll take him. Same with Ramon Beltran. Looks like he might be a defensive first guy. Oh, whatever. Might as well just sign Gabe French too. All right, so we signed everybody. All right, so Matt Chapman came off the injured list. So we know what that means. So now that Chapman's back, we get to uh, send down, we're sending down Groshans again because he has not been performing very well. Yeah, Groshan's only hitting 149 in the majors. So we're going to send him down to triple A. That will use one of his options. That's fine. And we will send Vinny Capra to double A. Okay. So now we got to make sure we get Chapman back in the lineup. Even. You know, his spinal has been playing pretty well. We got to get Chapman back in there. Do we move Chapman up or do we leave Chapman at seven? It's a tough choice. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna flop Chapman and Guriel here. Flop, flop, flop Chapman and Guriel there. Get Chapman in there. And we want a spinal in there. Same there, get Chapman in. Oops, I put. We need to get Tapia in. We need to get Tapia in versus lefties. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, we can't really get him in versus lefties. All right. So, lineups are set. Just starting June, and we're six and a half games up on the second place Yankees. The Orioles have finally kind of dived back down after a hot start to the season. All right, we're going to keep going. Barrios got a shutout going once again. We have 69 home runs, a very nice number. Jambi alongside Chris Singleton. We'd like to welcome those just tuning in on the show for a live look in. You're right on time. Jose Barrios still on the mound to start this ninth inning. We'll see if he can wrap this one up. And... Hogan just subscribed the three month sub. What a guy. Welcome back, Hogan. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Enjoy your 345 just subscribed. Now 
rebounding ball. He's still able to make some type of contact. All right, come on, Barrios. We got to dial in here. 110 pitches, a lot of freaking pitches. I think we have, we have we might we might just have to go mono y mono here at some point and just try and blow one by him. All right, well we got him out. That's all that matters. Jose Barrios is about to have a Roy Halladay type game and throw 130 pitches here. Side. Espinal handles the chance. Over to first. Royals. Taylor. The... Swing and a miss as he was. Next pitch is in. Next one is off the plate. Tap back up the middle. I right, could draw Barrios. Barrios with the shutout. Another one. That's got to be his third or fourth shutout. Teoscar home run. Oh, it's final. Two two doubles. Pamps is trying to close it out. Let's get a rally going. Wow, 9 to 10. I bet Kikuchi started this game. And Chapman has six RBIs. Okay. The show. I'm John Shami alongside Chris Kevin. Singleton. You're just in time. Kevin Vigio will bring the middle of the order to the plate here in the ninth. Now just a run. Right Kevin Biggio, baby, let's go! The two-run tater. A former J legend, Joel Pamps. Let's go. Um, and the other one is Masayu Jerry. Big home run for Kevin Biggio. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Wow. More than 450. 454 foot home run from Biggio. Tattooed that one. Heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Now batter. The batter now. Alejandro Kirk. Oh, what a stop. And that's a great play for the out. Oh, man. All right, the rookie, Gabriel Moreno. Great in the OBP department. Yankees and Red Sox in 2019. I think there were, were there 50 runs scored in the two games combined. My scorecard No. Nice contact there by Moreno. Thought he might have hit. Thought he might have snuck that one out, but no, no luck. You pick Biggio in fantasy? Sorry. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double, and his second right. hit. No waiting around Let's go, right Bobichet! Another double. We're still alive here. Two out rally. Kyle Tucker's at least hitting the ball well. I think Kyle, Tuck Kyle Tucker's going to turn it around. And a pitch. There's a strike. Next offering is those pitches. 0 2 count now. What? That was a ball? Is Angel Hernandez behind the plate? What was that? Next off. Soft contact in the air. And it falls. Classic. Classic. Not too often, but right there, somehow he got it to drop in the game coming up. So now with one swing, this guy puts a bunt down. In there. He's wow, he's safe too. This could have played out 
Wow, what a perfect bunt. Should have one out right now. So we got zero out runners on freaking first and second. Classic Angel Hernandez. Alright, there you go. I just went freaking mano y mano with him there. I wasn't messing around. Try and catch this heat. Ooh, just reared back and put a little bit of extra mustard on that one. Let's go. Romano still has not allowed a run in 18 save opportunities. Got a little bit of a scare there, but got out of the jam. Two big strikeouts and a pop out. Chapman, home run, triple, double, six RBIs. All he needed was a single. And Gabriel Moreno, the rook, with a home run. I mean, Salvador Perez went five for six with two home runs and five RBIs. If it makes you feel any better.